we want to bring to your attention a growing trade dispute between the U.S. and China. China U.S. is opening a new front in that argument, and the battleground, chickens. Our chief Washington correspondent, Peter Cook, has the details from D.C. Peter? Margaret, the U.S. Uh, trade, administration, trade Representative uh, Ron Kirk uh, announcing this just in the last few minutes here in Washington. The U.S. formally challenging Chinese tariffs on U.S. chicken exports at the World Trade Organization. They're calling this a major action by the U.S. It's been a simmering dispute for about a year now, ever since the Chinese slapped tariffs of anywhere from 50 to 105 percent on U.S. broiler chickens. Now, the Chinese action then came after China determined a causal relationship between U.S. companies dumping their products in the Asian country at below market prices and losses in their own poultry industry. It also followed U.S. tariffs on Chinese tires, so there was some talk of retaliation here. U.S. chicken processors led by the nation's largest, Tyson Foods, challenged the duties in China and then asked for the Obama administration's help, resulting in today's formal complaint filing with the WTO. Now, the complaint will trigger an automatic two-month period of talks between the two countries. If that fails to resolve this dispute, a panel of WTO judges will then rule. That could take several months. And, Margaret, if the United States were to prevail, as it did in the tire case, China would either have to drop these tariffs or the U.S. would be allowed to retaliate with tariffs of its own on some other Chinese exports to the United States. But it will ratchet up trade tensions between these two countries. Oh, this, this is a dispute that has been out there for some time. No, and, and uh, of serious consequence for many farmers. Uh, why did they choose to file the complaint now, Peter? Well, again, this has been a dispute that's been out there for a while. The industry's been asking the Obama administration to move. But there's another backdrop here, Margaret, and that is all the talk about trade and cooperation on trade here in Washington. It looks pretty likely that those three stalled trade deals, Colombia, Panama, and South Korea, could move through Congress shortly. There's been some criticism even from Democrats. The administration hasn't been willing to fight China on some trade issues. So this is, again, the administration showing that it is willing to challenge China in certain areas. There's also talk of legislation in Congress dealing with China as a currency manipulator, something the Obama administration has been hesitant to support and, in fact, has, uh, has actively uh, worked against. So this is part of the backdrop, the larger trade backdrop here in Washington right now.